editing your photographs and what to do with your pictures. Okay, I get asked that a lot, but let's first tackle the editing. Be brutal. If you're looking at your picture and you think you're not gonna be able to do anything with it, or maybe it has a nice sentiment and you just wanna save it, okay, fine, but just be brutal and get rid of it. <laughs> if you can't enter it in a contest or um, if you're not proud to show it to anybody, then it's probably something you could toss. So be brutal in your editing and don't end up keeping a lot of fluff that isn't even fluffy. Honestly, just toss it. Okay, what I get asked a lot is, well, what do you do with those pictures? Well, I personally am in the business of selling images. Um, so I do it as a business. Um, and I'm always kind of think it's funny when <laughs> I'm out photographing casually and someone asked me to send them all my pictures that I took for free. No, I don't do that. Um, and I suggest you don't do it either because it cheapens your photography. Why should you give your pictures to everyone? Um, they have value. I mean, if it's a picture that you took casually of somebody and you want them to have it, fine. But, you know... It's not something to give away for free unless you're working for a nonprofit, which I've done all over the world. So I know about that. They can't afford to pay. Um, but uh, don't, don't cheapen yourself by giving your pictures away. If you're just doing it for fun and you really want to do that, great. But that's not what I do. I'm in business. Um, Okay, so what can you do with your pictures? So this is from the perspective of casual to being in business. So you can you can actually give yourself an exhibition. This is something that would be really fun to do. You can make books out of your pictures. You can give them as gifts if you're just doing it casually and you want to give them away. Because I know a bunch of people will write me and say, oh, I love, it's like, yeah, th because you have a full-time job. My full-time job is photography, so that's what I make my money at. So no, I'm not gonna hand over my pictures for nothing. Um, if you want to do that, great, because you can do that <laughs> because you have a full-time job, which you're getting paid at. Um, Okay, so the things that you can do with your photography. Hey, make a big picture. One of my wonderful students, um, Sarah, has won awards. Very good. I'm so proud of you um, in photography for her work. And she's got some beautiful pictures. And I recommended to her, as I am to you, get your pictures. Um, first, do a print to see how they look like an eight by 10. And then if everything looks good, do a big picture for your wall. You can do canvas paper, you can do luster metallic paper. There's a whole bunch of cool things you can try with printing and people are reluctant to put a picture they took on the wall, but like you're probably better than you think with your pictures. So why not put your art on the wall? Okay. And then once you get into the high of that, I've done 11 one woman exhibitions and they are fun. <clears throat> I have paused recently because it is a lot of work. Um, I did sell a lot and there's a lot that goes into it. But if you want to just for fun, do an exhibition like at a bookstore, well, bookstores are going out, a winery, a restaurant, somewhere that you'll be able, so they need art and they have walls and they don't want to buy uh, pictures because it's expensive. So investigate that, coffee houses, um, and then have a party. Don't just put them up, have an actual party. Most of these places, all the places that um, I've done casual exhibits like that, always let me have a party and invite everybody I know, colleagues and friends, because it's not, 
you know, to just put them up, it really has a lot to do with gathering people together to look at them. And then what I started doing was doing a talk at every single exhibition. And I always sold work after doing the talk. So that's interesting. People like to know how you took the picture, <clears throat> where you were, the story behind it. So um, check that out. Another thing you can do, which I was doing before the exhibitions, was making pictures, making taking my photographs, making like a four by five or a five by seven and getting that um, Strathmore cards. It's really nice paper. You can watercolor on it and making greeting cards out of them. I was just doing it for my own personal enjoyment and then I started selling them. So, um, and that's a whole thing, but it's kind of fun to just do it casually and give it to someone you care about and write a personal sentiment in it, people like that. And I suggest getting your pictures out of your computer and actually doing something with them. So in terms of brutally editing, now this takes hours and this is the part that people don't love to do is going through their hundreds and thousands of pictures. And that's why I say, Go through them because you don't actually have to put them in your hard drive and keep them forever. What is the point um, if half of them aren't good? I mean, I just looked back in my archives and there's uh, things I can throw out. I just moved a whole bunch of pictures to a folder. Um, I'm putting a portrait uh, short film together to show prospective clients. And um, so I'm going through my work and you just, it feels good to get rid of the duds. So just be brutal, do something with your pictures. Do you have a question about uh, that? Comment below because um, the printing is a whole different department than shooting digitally. So you're going into a whole different medium by printing your pictures. And um, if you have a question and you need help with that, let me know. So have fun and keep shooting and stay curious.